Kent County has a place for everyone. Today, residents, officials, and other community members had a chance to hear the successes in areas Kent County is looking to improve on during the 2023 State of the County Address. It was delivered by Board of Commissioner Chair Stan Steck and County Administrator Al Vanderberg during an event at DeVos Place. And this evening, a big area of focus was public and school safety. Another major investment in school safety will address what has been identified as the most significant point of failure in school safety incidents, including school shootings, and that is communications. Enabled by over $2.8 in Kent County ARPA funding, the sheriff is implementing an 800 megahertz radio safety system in every Kent County K-12 public and private school building that chooses to participate. The system is the first of its kind in the state of Michigan and will enable schools to communicate critical, factual, real-time information to first responders. And it will also enable our dispatch centers to relay emergency notifications directly to schools, such as the need for a lockdown of buildings or the threat of inclement weather. Another safety improvements discussed include the board approving funding this year for 20 new corrections officers and the sheriff's office adding six new contracted school resource officers. County leaders also say a task force meant to combat human trafficking identified 35 trafficking, trafficking victims and arrested nine suspects between January and September of this year. It also discussed embedding social workers in the dispatch center to access the need for any emergency mental health assistance. County officials also discussed ARPA funds and how they've been invested into 30 projects in the county after they received more than 320 proposals and how it should be distributed. Here are just a few of the projects that have already started in 2023. A $4 million investment is fueling phase one development of the Boston Square Community Hub, a multi-purpose $25 million facility dedicated to enhancing the health and well-being of neighbors. Amplify GR, along with neighborhood and community partners, kicked off development in February. Seeded with a $6 million ARPA investment, the Kent County Youth Agricultural Association is, lead, is leading development of a $36 million venue for hands-on agricultural learning, arts and cultural programming, an indoor arena and livestock equestrian competitions and exhibitions all in Lowell Township. With the help of an $8.5 million ARPA investment, Kent County Road Commission is improving the quality of our road network throughout the county. Officials also discussed the Kent County Affordable Housing Loan Fund, which is getting ready to launch soon. It's meant to encourage the development of more affordable housing in the area. Nonprofit lender IF has been chosen to administer the fund and is now accepting applications. We will have more information about that at fox17online.com.